Well, good morning everybody. I'm starting to stay outside because I don't want to vlog in a room full of eight people. But today, I think I might stay an extra night in the hostel. Today's plans were kind of ambiguous. I was going to maybe explore Glenorchy, Arrowtown, Queenstown, do the luge thing. Uh, you can actually see the mountains in the background even better in daylight. And also up there is the, I believe, the luge all the way up there on the top of that mountain. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I might stay an extra night. It saves me a night of camping and uh, I don't know, I really like showering. So <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. It is said that Queenstown is a tourist town, and almost every shop I've passed has been like some type of tour booking, like skydiving or bungee jumping or something or other. But I just got myself a flat white. The leaves are turning colors. I'm gonna walk to the lake, have a nice view. I don't know, I just like exploring for a bit, not knowing where I'm going. And then I'm gonna go up on the gondola and do some luging. Last time when I drove to Queenstown, when we were driving along the lake, I just remember noticing like people biking along it, and it looked so pretty, it looked so nice, and so I really, really wanted to do that, but I never had any time. So I believe this time, now I've decided, I'm going to rent a bike and do that bike drive. I can do whatever I want. This is my holiday. I have gotten my own gondola, all to myself. No one wants to join me. That's all right. Bye, everyone. I'm going to try and use my GoPro on the uh, on the luge, both showing you the view on the way down and then hopefully my face. Uh, the slogan of this luge place is once is never enough, which I think is 100% true because the last time Tony and I did it, once was not enough. We wanted to do it so much more and oh man, we are really starting to move now. Oh, so I've got myself three different passes. So I'm going to have the time of my life. Oh man, that view. I will never get sick of that view. Oh my god. Alright, I'm all suited up to go luge I probably look like a big loser in this, don't I? So my first run down the mountain, I didn't realize that they had some helmets with a GoPro mount. So I used the chest mount and it was mostly knees. So let's take two. traveling is when I'm trying to get that shot. Like the first two runs down the luge, it was perfect. I never crashed once, didn't even hit the sides. Everything was grand because everything was set up on the GoPro and it's led to its thing. Then when I tried to do a little facial thing, showing you my face and kept moving the camera, oh my gosh, I crashed so many times. I skinned my knee. But I don't even think I got that shot, man. Get hurt, don't even get the shot. It sucks, man. Uh, so now I'm gonna go down this gondola, rent a bike and just explore the little river path. Maybe it's just an American thing, but nothing says lunch quite like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just nothing. It's just, mmm, awful. The smell in the air is still campfire. I don't know who's doing it, but I love it so much. I'm now outfitted with another helmet. Today I'm gonna have the worst helmet hair ever. Here's my bike. Got an extra large for reasons. And let's go just bike along the lake to Franktown. Not anything too extraneous, if that's the right word. So I've just got to this mile marker at the edge of Frankton and it tells me I've just biked 10 kilometers away from Queenstown, which means I've got to bike 10 kilometers back. But you know what, I'm not even that tired and the view is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And people always ask me how I'm able to like, I don't know, shoot so much film and also enjoy what I'm doing. And the thing is, I'm not always shooting all the time. Uh, I know what I want in my head, I get some shots, and then I use my eyes. And sometimes it's this big battle of, oh my gosh, but this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting prettier. Uh, but I feel like the only way you can really experience this is if you come out here and see it for yourself. And I would highly recommend that. Out of any places I've ever been, Queenstown by far is the most beautiful place. Uh, but that means I obviously just have to travel the world a bit more. But at, at this point in time, Queenstown, you gotta go here, put this on your bucket list. This place is unreal.
You know, I think I spoke a bit too soon when I said I'd never get in travel accidents when I'm not trying to get that shot. Because basically during this little swerve right here of the pathway, as you can see, had a bit of a crash because an old man was walking by and I didn't want to hit him. I mean, my other, only other option was to swerve and uh, hit the tree and hit myself and kind of crash. So I flew to the ground, breaking my G7X camera here, hence why I'm vlogging with the GoPro. If you can see that, there's like huge amount of cracks on the screen. The lens is broken, won't open up. And also, I mean, bit of a, bit of a bloody, bloody hand there. Uh, a lot of pain on the hand. I can deal with it. My hips hurt, but if I'd hit the guy, I don't know what would have happened to him. So I made the good choice. Now I have to try and find a way to replace my camera. <laughs> How much is going to go wrong during the, this is only the second leg of my trip, but you know what? Uh, I'm fine. I'm still thankful that I'm walking and everything is good. So I think I'm going to stay an extra night in Queenstown, get everything sorted, try and find a new camera, maybe replace the G7X with an upgrade, hopefully, and then get taxed back. I don't know. This is way more expensive of a trip than I thought it'd be. So I've arrived at this camera store in Queenstown and I have purchased myself a new camera. Look at this. It's the upgrade. It's the G5X. It's a bit bulkier, but it still fits in my pocket compared to this uh, broken guy here. Nice. Well, I'm now back in my little camper van. I think I'm going to stay an extra day in Queenstown. I just need to recuperate from my little accident here and from the new camera and everything. How do you think the new camera is, by the way? It should hopefully be roughly the same as what you're used to. Um, I don't think I can claim the camera back on insurance, which is a bit, ah, everything keeps going wrong. But, you know, I'm still gonna try and have a good day. So I'm gonna go walk down the street, find a new uh, hostel to stay at, take a nice shower since I'm feeling gross and then just hopefully have another chill day. And then tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see what happens. This is what the camera looks like, by the way, after the crash. You can tell, oh, definitely took a spill there. And if you look hard, it's actually bent. Like the, the actual frame is bent there. And then the lens won't even open because there's like a dent right there in the bottom. So overall, definitely totaled just from being in my pocket and crashing, but at least the old man was fine. So the hostel is pretty great. It looks like a ski lodge kind of on the outside, but it smells like boys. You know what I'm talking about. It just smells a bit like boys. So I just had a lovely hour long conversation with Dodie on the phone, which has made me feel so much better about everything that's happened in my life. She's my best friend. I love her so much. Everything feels great. And I'm going to get myself a Ferg burger to continue to make myself feel better. And honestly, I'm doing great. Thank you to Dodie. If you don't know who she is, for some strange reason, good. her link is in the description. Ah, I feel amazing. I'm quite incredibly full, which is good, but I'm also feeling really good. I'm feeling happy, everything's fine. Today was a great day, regardless of anything that happened. Tomorrow, I'm going on a long drive to Glenorchy, to Arrowtown, and then I'm going all the way to Milford Sound for Friday. I'm going to do a kayaking cruise trip. So thank you so much for watching this travel vlog. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed living it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. What a long road trip. So many beautiful sights. And this here is the place where Arwen was carrying Frodo over the Bruinen.